If you look up at the sky at night, it seems very placid and almost unchanging. Not true in gamma rays and not true in spades. Things are changing all the time. When you look at the gamma ray sky, you realize that there are violent phenomena in the universe. Estudiar rayos gamma es una ventana a estos fenómenos. Glass es la primera misión que va a observar fotones en el en el último rango del espectro electromagnético que queda por observar. We're looking at the universe from a completely different perspective. We actually look at it through gamma rays, which is another form of light, or it's the same thing as the light we see with our own eyes, except that the light itself is literally tens of billions of times um, more energetic. Objects in the universe put out energy all across the electromagnetic spectrum. And to really understand how the universe was formed, how it's evolving, how the objects in it function, you need to observe over the entire electromagnetic spectrum. GLAST is gamma ray telescopes, two of them, designed to study the highest energy photons in the universe. And there are some mind-boggling things that we might find in this area. GLAST will tell us things about active galactic nuclei, pulsars, supermassive black holes, gamma ray bursts, possibly about dark matter, a whole range of issues which are important to modern physics. Det, det är precis som att um, man befinner sig i ett mörkt rum och så öppnar man ett fönster mot någonting fint som är utanför. Och jag klart kommer det att bli på samma sätt. Man öppnar ett fönster och man kommer att upptäcka nya saker. Every time you open up a new window to the universe, a new wavelength region, you discover new things. And usually the universe has many surprises in store for us. There's a lot of major discoveries waiting to be made. Then we're going to learn lots more with glass.